Good afternoon and welcome to News 13 at Noon. I'm Mike Powers. A former state police officer now faces charges in a fatal hit and run accident in Santa Fe last year. A special prosecutor filed the criminal complaint late yesterday against Alfred Lovato. Lovato's attorney says the charges are bogus. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live in the newsplex with the latest on this. Crystal? Mike, the charges claim Alfred Lovato drove the vehicle that killed William Tenorio last November in Santa Fe, even though police say he was a passenger in the and the car. The driver of the vehicle was attorney Carlos Fierro, who's now awaiting trial on the charge of vehicular homicide and fleeing the scene of an accident. Lovato now faces two counts. The charges read the defendant, naming Lovato, did kill a human being while in the unlawful operation of a motor vehicle while driving under the influence. Charges Lovato's attorney, Sam Brigman, says are wrong, since police have repeatedly said Carlos Fierro was behind the wheel November 26th of last year. Court documents show Fierro and Lovato had been drinking at several places that night before getting into Fierro's vehicle, but the filing prosecutor is relying on a recent court of appeals decision made against a man in Quay County. He was also a passenger, yet the courts upheld the state's authority to file the vehicle a homicide charge since he knowingly allowed, in fact, told the drunken driver to get behind the wheel. Brigman says the cases are completely different and that his client, Lovato, did not tell Fierro to drive drunk that night. Of course we're going to fight this charge. My client didn't commit any homicide by vehicle. He didn't leave the scene of an accident as a driver of a vehicle. That's just simply not true. Um, this is vindictiveness because my client exercised his Fifth Amendment rights. It will now be up to a judge to determine if Lovato did know Fierro had been drinking for hours before the deadly hit and run. Back to you, Mike. Interesting turn here. Okay, Crystal, thank you very much. Now, what happens to the Carlos Fierro case now that prosecutors are naming two drivers? We'll hear from Fierro's attorney today at 4 o'clock.